Hi guys, uh, so today I'm going to be showing you my alien chest burster that I painted myself. Um, I basically got the uh, got the alien chest burster mold, uh, which I bought. Um, uh, that was printed, the mould was printed off from a machine um, and it was green, you know, originally and um, they wasn't um, they usually do paint them uh, themselves, but on this occasion uh, they, wasn't gonna, they uh, wasn't painting them um, when I wanted them to paint this one, so I decided to buy it and then uh, have a go at painting it myself and um, it turned out quite well um, in the end. Um, it took me two or three attempts in uh, a few places um, before I could get it um, to how I wanted it to look. Um, I wanted it to look as close to the movie as I could get it, because um, I wanted to stay true to the movie, you know, and try to get the um, the lines and um, where the blood was placed. Try to get that as close as I could um, in certain areas, um, which was quite a difficult thing to do um, because I was only going by. A, four or five different photos uh, and the angles that I had was one was like that so I was working from that angle um, you know that was what I could see from the photo from that angle you know um, I mean it was never going to be where I've placed the, the blood it was never going to be 100% accurate because obviously when you go and buy a photo you don't actually have the actual real thing in hand that you can copy off from you know you just go and buy the photos and then the uh, second angle was from that angle um, in the photo which I was copying from and then uh, that was the second uh, third third angle sorry and it wasn't one uh, for the back I had to pause uh, the alien film and sort of try and copy the blood which was placed on that back um, and again turned out okay uh, so again it wasn't going to be 100% accurate but uh, it doesn't look too bad you know um, and then uh, obviously that was another photo that I could see uh, the certain areas where the blood was um, and placed, which I tried to copy and match. Um, and also, there was the front um, front view of where the blood was, and then uh, so those were the angles, you know, that I was working with, uh, which was really difficult, but managed to do you know not a bad job in the end uh, although it looks um, you know, because I was painting you know with a brush you know paint brush uh, the only thing is it was never going to look sort of like blood it's going to look more like it had been drawn on rather than the blood actually look like blood but you know I couldn't get it to go any other way and I didn't have the spray gun or whatever it's whatever it's called to make it look like blood I only had to see you know basic paint stuff you know but it's okay you know I'm quite happy with it the way it looks um, you know could have been a lot worse um, you know so I'm quite happy the way it is and just on display it looks okay you know um, you know because you can't actually buy a alien chest burst correctly paint it, you know, even the one that's expensive, you know, you have to paint it. Um, and then I painted the teeth silver with a pen I actually use for the teeth. Um, I do need to actually paint the inside of the mouth 
black. Um, which I'm going to do at some point, but you can't really notice it uh, too much. And then I used uh, a fleshed 